Jake, they said that you jumped up to like 250. Coming yeah. Into the spring. Yeah. Well, how was that transformation, or what was that transformation like? Yeah, it was definitely hard, but we have so many resources here. Just talking to the nutrition staff, Miss Taylor, Coach Stack, helped me out finding a diet that works well for me. Pretty much just came down to eating anything and everything. So I was eating a lot. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I definitely jumped up a lot in weight. So that's better than going the other way, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, other guys who have had big weight gains have made jokes about like waking up in the middle of the night eating peanut butter sandwiches. That's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. Yeah, I'd have like a shake, a PB and J, chicken breast, whatever. Wake up in the middle of the night, I would eat it. Um, so I was eating all the time in class, tuna fish in my, uh, in my backpack. So it wasn't easy, but uh, whatever works. So, how do you feel? Like, do you still feel as fluid like on the on the field? Yeah, I feel good. I feel like it wasn't bad weight, um, so I still feel good. I feel better than I thought I would. Um, maybe a little bit. We started running a lot. My body had to adjust, um, you know, 40 pounds, but now I feel great. So, how much weight did you put on? 40 pounds. 40? Yeah. How has it helped you? Uh, so much. I mean, obviously, you're blocking guys that are 260 and up. Um, so, if you're 220, you know, it's a big disadvantage. So, being 250, that uh, obviously helps out a lot. How do you feel about your role in the offense you know, this spring yeah. and how you've been able to? Yeah, so far I love the offense. I love what Coach Sig's doing. We go like a lot of 12 personnel, 22 personnel. Uh, so fitting in where I can. Uh, I like to make a bunch of an impact as I can in the passing game. That's something that I could try to pride myself on. So um, being able to use my speed or anything like that. Um, but Coach Sig does a good job with that. And he's used, or he's coached a lot of good tight ends in the past. Obviously at BC, um, Hunter Long. So he's had a lot of, a lot of pleasure with a lot of great guys. So. Were you, uh, last year, were you on the scout team trying to block Pablo and Des, yeah. Des yeah. all those guys? No, I mean, that's a good point. Like, last year, I helped out a lot. Um, obviously, people don't want to be on scout team. Um, it's not your goal, but coming in at 210, I have not played tight end much before. kind of knew that that was what I was going to be doing. Um, so going up against guys like Haba, Des, all those guys, I mean, that helped out so much. So it was just, like, even mentally, just blocking those guys every day, just transform my blocking game. Now, now that you're this much bigger, I mean, you're taking reps against those guys again this spring, or you kind of like, you, know, you can't push me around like you did. Yeah, it's very different. Basketball. It's very different. Is that your focus? I mean, outside of the weight gain, what was your primary focus in the offseason? Uh, blocking. Weight gain, blocking, footwork. I mean, obviously, it's still work in progress, so I'm still working on it every day with Coach Salem. He's getting, he's getting on me about it, my footwork. That's the main goal for me right now, is to get my footwork down. All right, not my footwork. Um, obviously, in the block, uh, off season, I was trying to hit the sleds every day. Uh, guys out here when I can. I mean, obviously, I was working on other stuff too, like route and footwork, um, agility, speed, all that kind of stuff. But blocking and footwork and weight, that was the main focus for sure. How long did it take you to gain? Well, I, I just hit about a year mark. Um, got in last spring, so it took me about a year. Where did you play in high school? Did you play tight end in high school? So I was a quarterback in high school for three years. I was at Notre Dame High School in New Jersey. Um, senior year, I went down to IMG, and I played kind of like a tight end hybrid. It was more like a receiver, so I was more like a slot. I was running around a lot. Obviously, when you get here, you get to the college level, you're in line a lot more. Um, so that was an adjustment as well, but yeah, so. Has staff been there for you every step of the way? Yeah, 100%. Uh, Coach Salem, Coach Stack, Coach Sig, Coach Narduzzi, whoever it is, they've been there for me. I go to them all the time with questions. What can I work on? How can I get this? How can I put on weight? Whatever it is in there. So, <clears throat> you guys lost Lucas Kroll to the yeah. NFL. How do, you, how do you guys approach that leadership role now with the younger guys in the room? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, obviously it's a big loss. I mean, he helped out a lot last year. Just little questions I would ask him during practice, whatever. He was there to give me pointers. Um, but right now, the tight end group, we're so close knit. Um, maybe even more so than last year. We just feel like a really close knit group. Um, we're ready to roll. So. When you were in high school, did you see yourself as a, as a college quarterback? or um, Maybe early on I did, mm -hmm. but as I started kind of going throughout, you know, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, I started just, I mean, I loved running the ball. I loved having the ball in my hands. Um, schools that were talking to me were talking to me as a, maybe as a quarterback, that's what I played, but they were like, hey, we're also interested in you as a tight end. Mm -hmm. So it kind of just like transformed itself and eventually I just rolled with it and I loved it. You know, I love quarterback. I mean, I love tight end a lot more than quarterback, especially, you know, at the next level. So it's kind of a natural thing for you. Yeah, I feel like it fits me and my playing style, what I like to do a lot better. So